Do you think me without a wig is a vibe? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Kwe. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I have a story time and uh, I'm not one to touch on very sensitive topics because this is a beauty channel. Ideally, I'd have uploaded these story times on my vlog channel, but I just prefer to upload them here on this beauty channel. Sorry for that, guys. But um, today I'm going to talk about an incident that happened when I was a child. I know that these are touchy topics and I won't mention the name but of this issue, but you'll just figure out as it goes. But um, let's just get into this story because it's uh, something I never want to forget. And maybe when I'm eight years old or my memory has gone, forgive me for that. I hope it doesn't go. But anyway, one day I'll look so, back um, and I'm like, oh, I had this doll. Happened. It's a really short story. Let's just rewind back to the year. Should I really say the year? <laughs> to the year 1990 something. Let's just say 1990 something. Yes. Um, I was in standard two. Um, standard two is basically about eight years old. I was seven at that time, but roughly seven, eight year old. So I was in standard two of primary school, which, and I was seven years old. And I got a doll from my father. I think I got that doll when I was about six years, but that incident happened when I was about seven years. Or I think I got that doll even earlier, like maybe when I was five years old, because I had known that doll to me, it was like forever. Now this doll was a black doll. Yes, and at that time, black dolls were really rare. I'm assuming, okay, in Kenya, they were extremely rare. I think my father got it from the States or something of the sort. I'm not sure where he got it. It was called Hagi Bean. And this Hagi Bean was... Um, I don't know where he got it from. It was a black doll. It had overalls. The one I had had overalls. That's why I'm assuming it was from the States because that kind of thing would probably come from the States, like a doll with overalls. Yeah, so it had jeans, overalls, and it had dreadlocks. Yes, that doll had dreadlocks. And I'm telling you, later on is when I discovered, like, it was such a rare, you know, occurrence for black dolls to be. In Kenya, like basically, they've just started coming up in 2020, 2018. In the 2010s, basically, is when I've started seeing black dolls in Kenya. So, I had a black doll. I loved this Hagibin so much. The tag came, it was written Hagibin. And other, I, I think I got it at around seven years. Yeah, if I'm not wrong, because I think I read that tag. That's why I named it Hagibin. So, I just called it by the name of the tag. It was my Huggy Bean. I was so happy to have it. I used to go everywhere with it. And I loved it so much. Remember, this is a black doll with dreadlocks. Dreadlocks. It had dreadlocked hair. Yes, that doll. And it was a doll doll, not a stuffed animal. It was like a doll. So I love this doll so, so much. So much. You just know children and dolls. And it was actually my favorite doll, surprisingly. Not surprisingly. Yeah, it was my favorite doll. Like, I would go everywhere with the exception of school, of course. You're not allowed to have dolls in school. And I adhered to that rule. Until one day, when we went started two, in the year 1990-something, in class two. So in class two, all the girls uh, came together. We'd done exams. We were just through with exams. And it was that week where we used to have one week after the exam where we just stay in class, receive our papers slowly before we close the school. Just one week of idling in the class, playing games. At this point, we were allowed to play games. You could play cards. You could, you know, do what you want, basically. So what happened? Me and some girls, we were many girls, not just me alone. We were like, oh, let's bring our dolls tomorrow. Because we were seeing the boys were bringing their cars. So we were like, oh, let's bring our dolls tomorrow. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was the last time I saw Huggy Bin. But let's, let's proceed. When, um, 
it's so painful for me to say because that 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 hurt me honestly up to now i still remember that incident so when we brought our dolls um just before we could play with them somebody leaked to the teacher that the girls had brought their dolls and this was not allowed remember it wasn't allowed but somebody a snitch went and told the teacher that the girls have brought their dolls remember this is before we could even play with them like before we could even show each other and play with them so one by one the teacher called so and so i hear you have a doll bring it then the kids started mentioning other people like oh so and so also has a doll so and so has a doll and then my deskmate the person i used to sit with and trust told the teacher oh that's he also brought a doll and my doll was actually the one that was picked last now when the teacher was taking the dolls you know she had a normal um attitude that you know you're trying to correct your students attitude so she was like oh don't do this don't do this why are you bringing dolls what 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 and she was taking them one by one when she came to my desk i'll never forget even how that desk looked because of that incident when she came to my desk and then i handed over haggy bin remember i've had haggy bin for like two years already so i'm like happy i have her like she's my favorite doll she looked at haggy bin and she laughed she laughed and she was so disgusted i'll never forget the look on her face she looked at that doll if this was the doll let's just take this as the doll she was like like what the heck that was her expression i'm not gonna lie i wish i could do it well but that was literally her expression like she took the doll like and she burst out laughing and all and she stood there and showed the students i'll never forget she was like this is she was like is this a doll and she was holding it with so much disgust and like, oh, I can't even, I don't even want to remember. She was disgusted. She was disgusted at my doll. And I'm assuming it's because it was a black doll. Unfortunately, I have to say that because it was, it was a doll like all the others, but she did not have that expression on the other people's faces. And she was so disgusted and all the students burst out laughing you know children they really don't know disgust or anything of the sort and all the kids burst out laughing and like it was like the most hurtful thing like i've ever had to go through like and i didn't understand at that time why that happened by the way as a child you never understand that's a fact you never understand i didn't understand why that happened i didn't and up to this day okay currently right now i'm like it happened it happened yeah so but at that time even when i just thinking about it i feel like crying honestly i literally feel like crying because i'll never forget that day never because it was just hurtful like literally all the kids started laughing at my doll and you know it's something i love and the teacher was disgusted by it. She was not laughing. She laughed, yes, but she was disgusted by it. Literally disgusted. And I was hurt because I loved it. So I was not understanding why people are laughing and why she's disgusted. And to make add salt to injury, she confiscated it. And she for confiscated it for good. So I guess Hagibin is lying somewhere i don't know in a place i guess in my former school which i won't mention uh yeah or maybe it was thrown and burnt up or something uh because it was many years ago <laughs> many many years ago but i don't know i i feel like you know why do do we hate ourselves so much to the point that um when there was a doll that looked like us to you know to an adult person i guess mm, people had been brainwashed at that time so at least nowadays like people are starting to think 
outside the box, outside the brainwashing box. But it was a very sad situation, honestly. And um, I'm, oh, yeah, I could forget it after all. There's no point in keeping on remembering it. But I just thought it would be, um, I guess, a good story time. I don't know. But uh, it was sad. It was sad. My black doll was laughed at and mocked and confiscated. Of course, they confiscated all the other dolls. But, um, yeah, I remember vividly the laughter, the mocking, the disgust, the what, just because it was a black doll. Yeah, so. Okay, anyway, guys, that is my story about how my black doll was confiscated and how humiliated I was made to feel just because I had a black doll. I was humiliated, I'm telling you. Like, she stood there and showed the whole class the doll, like, Ugh! so that all the kids could burst out laughing and all that. But, um, yeah, I'm glad I had a black doll back when it wasn't cool. <laughs> In case you're my family member and you're watching this, now you know where Huggy Bean went. I never ever told anybody where Huggy Bean went. I didn't. Not once. I never told anybody where Huggy Bean went. He was confiscated and taken away. So, too bad. Yeah, but um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, up to now, I still remember the teacher's name. I'm not going to expose her, because probably she's like a grandmother, but yeah, uh, I'll see you in my next story time. But I do post content three times a week, guys, on this channel. And I also have a vlog channel if you want to see more about my life. And uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, yes, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.